I'm Matt Phillips for TechRadar, and Huawei are back with a brand new folding phone. Kind of. The Huawei Mate XS is a slight improvement on the Mate X, but we are hoping that it will be available worldwide and not just exclusive to China. We got our hands on with the device last week, and so here are some of our thoughts on what you can expect from Huawei's newest device. Huawei first unveiled its folding phone back in 2019, and the company is now sporting a new device with an improved chipset on board as well as some additional extras. This is more of a slight improvement on the Huawei Mate X rather than a whole new folding phone to compete with the likes of Samsung and Motorola with their bendy devices. The original Mate X was released, but it was exclusive to China. We don't know if this new version of the folding phone will be coming to other markets yet, but we hope that it will later this year. Unfortunately, we also don't know how much it'll cost or when exactly it will be out, but we'll keep you updated as soon as we find out. So what has changed compared to last year's device? There's a new chipset on board called the Kirin 995G that will allow you to connect to 5G networks if you have them available in your area. The hinge has also seen an improvement to make it more durable. Everything else from the Mate XS seems to be the same as the original Mate, with an 8-inch 2200 by 2480 display when you unfold the phone, and a 6.6-inch 1148 by 2480 screen when the device is folded up. Something that sets this phone apart from other foldables we've seen lately is that it infills from the back. This isn't like the book design of the Samsung Galaxy Fold, or the new clamshell design that seems to be becoming quite popular. The main camera is also the selfie shooter on this device. It's a combination of a 40 megapixel wide, 8 megapixel telephoto, and 16 megapixel ultra wide camera as well. Overall, the improvements here are quite limited, but you weren't able to buy the original phone, so Huawei is just looking to gently improve on this device, ready for a worldwide release later this year. At least, that's what we're hoping for. We should be hearing more soon about where and when exactly it will be available, and we'll be sure to keep you updated. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below if you'll be picking up a Huawei device if they become available in your area. Click up here if you want to see more tech radar videos just like this one. Click down here to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future content. And remember to head over to techradar.com for all the latest tech news and reviews.